See, that's real dope, man. I don't know. But anybody else be smuggling with me, I gotta have dope. I got to be able to get high. They be going through shit, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, head be fucked up. This streets will play with you. I'm done, nigga. You already know what time it is. The boy, feel me, sad, laugh, and get some no really. My goodness, we fucking with you. See, I was stand up. Extra lube in the inner tube. Niggas with attitude. You pussies wanna kill me, double back and bring it through. Pretty crazy, but uh, as a kid, I was I was pretty much back and forth out of like five six homes and juvenile and shit like that, juvenile institutions. So a lot of niggas didn't really see me like that. You feel me? Cause I stayed I stayed fucking up when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, it was I really didn't get to enjoy my young life like that. You know, like I went in '99. I had got out. And then after that, I, I did good for like 10 years. So that's really when a nigga got to really get on his hustle and, you know, figure out a nigga need to appreciate life and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To represent the streets, you really gotta be a part of the streets. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You really, really can't represent something that you ain't a part of, or something that you, you know what I'm saying? Really don't know, mm -hmm. know about. Cause a lot of niggas are speaking on shit they don't know about. So when you hear it, it's gonna, it's gonna sound saturated. You feel me? Mm -hmm. It's not gonna, it's not gonna sound 100. It's gonna sound watered down. But to somebody that really don't know the streets or or know the situations that occur in the streets. I mean, it might sound dope to them. Mm -hmm. They be like, oh, he coming up hard. That, you know what I'm saying? That nigga really with this shit when really yeah. that nigga ain't. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. You niggas live a dream. I'm just living a nightmare. Them chops spark white flares. Them dot Mr. Rick flares. Them squares all white. And the stamp was a kid, bit. I'm going to say it like this, man. Everybody real until they do something. Them, I ain't seen no. Hardest nigga. I'm talking about a nigga that was straight goon, just doing the wildest shit. I'm talking about shit you don't even want to talk about. Like, like damn, bro, what you chill out? You kind of crazy, you feel me? But as soon as she hit the fan, the motherfucker was like, you know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, how I look at it, anybody around to do something fake, just be yourself. Don't try to be something you ain't. Don't try so hard to fit in. You know what I'm saying? If you gotta try too hard to do something, you don't belong doing it. You know what I'm saying? There's so much shit in this world for you to do. If you gotta try too hard to do something, you don't belong doing it. Do something that you enjoy doing, something that you love doing, you feel me? And that's being real. Right. You ain't gotta, you definitely ain't gotta be no nigga to be real, cause I know white people that's real, I know mm -hmm. <laughs> Asian people that's real, I know hella Mexicans that's real. Slide with me, slide with me, come and flip these pies with me. OP up to death, so you know I brought my cars with me. Original pie flippers, just me and just my niggas. Well, shit, you know me and I, uh, and we've been running together for, you know, that's my day one, you feel me? All my niggas is my day ones, you feel me? But me and uh, we've been rocking the longest. Man, HP, he a relative. Okay. okay. That's my blood relative, that's family. Okay. My young man. And then DBI, that's my nigga from Oakland. You know what I'm saying? But he family too. But he he had a brother through my religion. He a Muslim brother. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Slide with me, slide with me. Out the window, five cents. Flow feel like five billions. Feel like I got God in me. It take money to make money, man. You gotta invest in yourself. If, if you believe in yourself, man, invest all your time, you know? Invest all your effort. Invest all your heart. You gotta go hard, you feel me? Same shit like what you was just saying about being real. Mm -hmm. You know? Be you and don't be nobody else. And, you know, hopefully you're gonna be successful. It's a lot. God gonna be on your side, you know? And if you got God on your side, that, that's why I really don't be tripping, because I got God on my side. So, if I could really take my time to pray, 
you know, and pray for the individuals around me. Yeah, that's big right there. Mm -hmm. um, we got a drum on, we got a drum on Friday. You know what I'm saying? 1.30, 30, 12 30, you feel me, depending on what the time schedule is. But got a drum. And most niggas at that time on a Friday is trying to holler at some bring out or something to see what's popping tonight. Me and my niggas, we all together praying. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I, I think that part right there is big too, you feel me? We all some go getters, never fuck with a gold digger. Hope she got whole tension, a Mac with some dope visions. Wrist kinda cold, but we whip in a warm kitchen. I mean, cause where we come from and what we be on, like, motherfuckers should appreciate us even believing in something. You know what I'm saying? Cause we really was out there young, running wild. Like I'm 31, I'm like more humble now, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But back in 97, I was 13, 14, I'm running around like, like crazy, you feel me? Like just doing ignorant stuff, you know? So for me to, and that that was when I took my shahada the first time, you know what I'm saying? I was like 15, you know? And then I recently took it because I felt like I was just so far gone mm -hmm. that I, I needed it more in my life and to really start studying it more heavy, you feel me? Yeah. These stones are clear, you can see how the rims glisten. A few niggas whisper, heard they say that the fans listen. Man, I think we got an untapped market. The niggas better wake up. Bottom line, because we coming. And, and there's, there's a lot of, lot of hard working niggas out here right now. Mm -hmm. uh, my team to say, say the least, but D minutes 28 grams, you know what I'm saying? We got, we got niggas like Kill em All Coop, and, and they ain't really from Seattle, they from from the other end of town, but it's still, it's pretty much all King County, so you know how we look at it, because we from out here, you feel mm -hmm. me? So a nigga could be from Kent and say he from Seattle, but that nigga really ain't from so Seattle. What are you saying? saying false flagging? I, I, I mean, some of these niggas be, but I'm, I'm not saying exactly that. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that, but some of yeah, for sure. You know we got that, but... And, and there's a lot of bullshit in this music scene out here, too. Because there's a lot of weird niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's a lot of police-ass niggas. I don't even see how these niggas is rapping, and the niggas is okay with it. Uh, but I don't condone to it, and you know? You don't see that shit around my music. Man, I tell you something, to be honest with you, I'm really picky with my beats. Like, some producers just don't even think I'm really fucking with them. They be like, man, do you even like my beats? Because they send me 30 beats before I pick one. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that, that be my thing. Because I'm not, I am a rapper, but I don't feel like I'm a rapper. I know I'm a rapper because I, I do music. I, I got rap albums, so of course I'm a rapper. But I'm a... I'm a nigga too, though. I'm a real nigga too, you feel me? I'm, and I was that before this music, you know? Before any of these views on YouTube. 30 stacks on my chain, spent that in the bin, dog. Long nights in that kitchen, whipping crispy creams, dog. And really, a lot of niggas been like, uh, I've been real relaxed and chill since I've been home, but really, I've been working. Mm -hmm. Like working, so I got I got some shit about to come. Like 2015 about to be crazy. I promise. White tees and G vibes, trapping in my own life, chopping hard and bagging white. I guess you call it trapper's life. Man, I just got a Snapchat today, bro. My nieces, they been on me. Feel me? <laughs> my little nieces, you know, they been here making crazy. They twins, but uh. It was like, Uncle, get a Snapchat. They've been banging me and they showed me some dope shit on it today. So I got on Snapchat. But I'll be on that IG, Facebook, Twitter. Okay. And I always get the question, is it me? It's really me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that's me. I'm here to stay like our own game. Spitfire, propane. Swerving in my own lane. M. Dr. Dog Gun.